Welcome everyone to Feel Good Friday. This is the sh our good news show where we share with you guys some good news from all over the world. So let me turn this around. All right. This is the MJKO website. Please consider donating to MJKO. We are an Ontario registered charity. We do run on donations. So of course, if you do have some disposable income, consider donating to MJKO. You can go to mjko.ca and the donate button is in the top right. You can just click it, it'll take you to our donation page. So pretty straightforward. All right, we're gonna move on to our first story of today. Coming from Scarborough Health Network. All right. So the weekend donates half a million dollars to support frontline hospital workers at SHN. So let's take a read. Uh, if you guys don't know who the weekend is, here he is. All right. He is born in Scarborough. So pretty world renowned. Anyways, multi platinum uh, selling singer, songwriter, and record producer Abel Tesfe, better known as The Weeknd, has donated $500,000 Canadian to Scarborough Health Network in support of COVID 19 relief efforts through sales of his popular XO face mask. The donation is a leading gift to the Health Network's COVID-19 emergency fund, which now totals 2.7 million. Wow. Good on the weekend. And here's a quote from him. I was raised in Scarborough and I felt it was important to give back to the community that raised me during the hard times of this pandemic. Wow. Good for you, the weekend. All right. Next story. All right. So this woman has rescued 72,000 human trafficking victims. Let's get rid of that. Let's take a look. So, Hasina Carby Impulse NGO Network has used an innovative model to rescue 72,000 women and children trafficked across India, Myanmar, Bangladesh, and Nepal. Wow. Her innovative model partners with human rights organizations and governments across Asia and Europe and stands out for its emphasis on financial compensation and repatriation. Okay. So, very cool. 72,000 and counting. Very cool. All right, this next one is a little bit of a funny story, all right? Uh, Canadian Tire and Lindsay temporarily closed after every item scanned comes up as Mr. Potato Head. Wow. All right, so let's see. Customers at Customers uh, Canadian Tire Store and Lindsay left empty-handed this morning. Okay, so this is from June 29th. So they learned that every item scanned this morning was coming up as Mr. Potato Head and cannot be changed. No sales were being made and customers were forced to leave empty-handed, according to witnesses. Uh, this was an anomaly that occurred this morning only at our Lindsay and Whitby stores. Oh, so it's more than one store. Lindsay and Whitby stores. A point of sales downloading uh, error caused item names to appear incorrectly. However, item price and item numbers were registering correctly. It has since been corrected and the stores are operating normally. That is hilarious. Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> all right. And next story from Toronto. All right. Toronto Council approves mandatory mask use bylaw. All right, so starting, when does it start? Okay, the bylaw will take effect July 7th. So we do have about one, two, three, four, four days until it takes effect. So July 7th is a Tuesday. So this bylaw takes effect next Tuesday. All right, so let's take a look. Toronto's top public health official recommended that City Council approve a new bylaw that will make it mandatory for residents to wear masks in all indoor public spaces. All indoor public spaces. So, as many people wearing cloth masks or face covering. So it doesn't actually have to be a legit mask. You can use a face covering, right? Some people like to wear bandanas as face covering. It doesn't matter. So you just got to cover your mouth and nose uh, in all indoor public spaces starting july 7th when does it stop okay so it will remain in effect until the next city council meeting of fall which is currently scheduled for september 30th october 1st so from july 7th to about september 30th we all have to wear face masks inside all right 
Not bad, not bad. All right. Next story from Raptor, former Raptor Jordan Lloyd. This random guy in a suit from the iconic Toronto Raptors photo finally got his ring, okay? So this guy right here, all right? He was part of the Toronto Raptors bench during our championship run. All right, Jordan Lloyd, he finally got his ring. All right, let's take a look. I know I'm long overdue, but... Wow. First time laying eyes on this thing, man. This is crazy. What a big ring. Like, what do you even do with this? Man, what? Shout out Toronto. Wow. What an, an unforgettable championship ring. So, of course, his name is the random guy in his suit because in this iconic photo, he wasn't suited up to play. He was just wearing his uh, formal attire, right? Being on the bench. And check out his... Uh, championship parade t-shirt so funny just a random guy in his suit Jordan Lloyd right there random guy in his suit I miss you Kawhi Kawhi come back alright we're gonna move on our next story also coming from Toronto from the NHL Toronto to be named NHL hub city alright so the NHL is looking to resume and Let's take a look. So Toronto hockey fans are about to get some good news. Keystone's Bob uh, McKenzie has confirmed that Toronto, along with Edmonton, are on the verge of being officially named NHL hub cities for the, w when the season resumes. All right. Barring any last-minute complications, we have seen some of those. The two NHL hub cities will be Edmonton and Toronto. So hub cities concept is a crucial component in NHL's plan to continue its season. It's centralized site where uh, teams will both live and play when the season gets underway again. In order for a city to be considered a candidate, they need to have an arena with at least four dressing rooms to accommodate the number of teams playing for the day as well as adequate hotels nearby. Wow. Hotels are going to make a killing out of these teams just staying. But that is good for them, you know, lots of hotels in downtown Toronto and uh, they'll get good business. Alright, this next story. From Tokyo, Disney parks reopen after four-month closure due to the coronavirus. All right. So as you can see, everyone's wearing a mask. Very cool. All right, let's see. All of Disney Asia's parks are officially reopened with Tokyo Disney Resort welcoming its visitors into its two theme parks uh, from July 1st. So that was two days ago. Okay. Uh, both Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea have been closed since late February due to the coronavirus pandemic. Shanghai Disneyland was the fir world's first Disney park to reopen, welcoming guests uh, from May 11th with protocols about social distancing and mandatory mask wearing. And Hong Kong Disneyland followed suit uh, a month later. Man, there are a lot of Disneylands. I never knew. Oriental Land, uh, the company that operates the Tokyo Disneyland at Disney Sea Parks in Japan, has announced its own guidelines ensuring guests and staff safely uh, going forward. These include advanced ticket booking, mandatory temperature checks, and social distancing while enjoying the attractions. Yeah, that's pretty good. The lines at these uh, theme parks are always so long. Imagine everyone uh, social distancing. The line's gonna feel so short. <sighs> All right, so. And that is very cool. Next story from Cleveland. All right, this is a study, okay, from the States. Uh, masks may protect wearer from coronavirus more than originally thought new research suggests. All right, so face masks uh, gives wearer more protection from the coronavirus than previously thought, according to a new study commissioned by the World Health Organization. All right, so that is no slouch. It is legit from the World Health Organization. Comprehensive review, existing research. Okay, so let's take a read. The World Health Organization meta-analysis looked at about 200, 200 COVID-19 studies in 16 countries. All right, so it's pretty comprehensive. Involving more than 25,000 patients, this analysis was run by the international uh, team led by McMaster University and St. Joseph's Health uh, Care Hamilton and published June 1st. So if you want to go take a look at that, you can... Uh, Check it out. It's a very long study, right? Talking about their methods that they used. So that is 
very encouraging all right so Moving on, so the uh, first ever non-stop flight from Mongolia to U.S. delivers PPE to Navajo Nation. Wow, very cool to see a lot of people helping out the Navajo Nation in the States. All right, so the first ever non-stop flight from U.S. from Mongolia has successfully completed. Simple Flying has reported Mongolia Airlines Boeing 767-300 made the historic journey. Okay, so delivered 60,000 pieces of personal protective equipment most of which will be donated to the people of Navajo Na Nation indigenous community to assist with their efforts to stem coronavirus outbreak. Okay, the PPE was donated by the Mongolian government to the U.S. Uh, Mongolia has been held for staging one of the most successful fights against COVID-19. Hmm, I didn't know that. But very cool, good on Mongolia. Next story from Uber. No mask, no ride. Uber will require drivers and passengers to wear face masks indefinitely all right so if you're taking uber you gotta wear face masks all right so uber is extending its mask requirements indefinitely throughout the u.s and canada so this affects canada as well as coronavirus cases continue to rise across several states thankfully it is not rising uh in canada but you know to keep the numbers low we all gotta wear masks all right the company previously said that both drivers and riders are required to wear masks during trips through june June on Wednesday, the company said it's extending that rule, extending our no mask, no ride policy is the right thing to do. Uber said in a statement, we want to send a clear message to everyone using Uber that we will have a role to play to keep each other safe. Very good. That's a good rule. All right. Next story from Ontario. Launch of COVID-19 contact tracing app in Ontario is delayed. Ooh. All right, but at least we're coming out with one. So the mobile app, I wonder how that app's gonna work. But, you know, better late than never to have a contact tracing app. All right, this next story from France. France to rename streets after African World War II heroes. All right, France reappraisal of its colonial past is fueled by the global anti-racism protests and Black Lives Matter, there are Many Singhalese and North African soldiers on this list, but none from what was French Indochina. Africans played a big role in the liberation of France in 1944. French uh, Junior Defense Minister Genevieve, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, presenting the 210 page booklet, said the names, faces, lives of African heroes must be part of our lives as free citizens because without them, we would not be free. Wow, exactly. Good on uh, France to recognize. Uh, African World War II heroes. Next story from CNN Health. This new high-tech glove translates sign language into speech in real time. So you can see the glove is a gadget, probably in prototype. I can't expect the final product to be showing exposed wire like this. But as you can see, the sign language translator does translate into I love you, apparently. I'm not... I'm not a sign language expert, so can't tell if that is accurate. So a glove will translate sign language into speech in real time developed by scientists, potentially allowing deaf people to communicate directly with anyone without a need for a translator. Hmm, interesting. The world of device contains sensors that run along the, f the four fingers and thumb to identify each uh, word, phrase, and letter as it is made in American Sign Language. Scientists at UCLA, okay very cool development all right this next story from cbc news this 97 year old woman is singing for her neighbors on canada day so this was from three days ago all right let's take a read all right let's take a watch at this video i'm catholic really catholic okay. and the nuns they used to have an awful time with me i was always into trouble they wouldn't put me in the choir because I was just moving around too much. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the Lee Side Pub. Hey, I've been there. Miranda I recommend this place. They have some cheap steaks every Saturday. The Lee Side Pub, very cool. Wow. Won't you come home? I'm Dorothy Rose, and uh, 
and I love singing and dancing. I'm going to be 98 on July 29th. Wow, she's going to be 98 soon. In 1939, the war broke out. I belonged to a dancing academy. We're asked to be, have us, the students, become a part of a variety show to entertain the armed forces. And I sang and danced for four years. And I I think it's, it's all in here, a lot of it because I've had, I've had things like cancer and I've had, I bro fell and broke a hip and a few years ago. And like I haven't been without challenges, but I'm determined not to give in. I can't give you anything but love. And I think I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I'm talking to God or who, but I say, please let me do well. Because you could, there'd be times maybe you don't sound as good, but I like, because I want to please the people that are there. You'd be surprised at how, how people come up after and say, oh, you made the afternoon, it was so fun. You know, it makes me feel good. <laughs> we wow. Very cool. She sings at the Leaside Pub. Hopefully, uh, I can catch her singing there once all this is over and everything is back to normal. Alright, this next story from Sephora. Alright, Sephora's makeup uh, supply store. Sephora bans mink fur eyelashes and will now sell only sell synthetic or faux fur. Alright, so I did not know this about uh, Sephora or anything from the makeup industry, but apparently mink fur eyelashes like who needs that just use fake eyelashes synthetic or full fur what the all right so this is a picture of the mink all right following a campaign by PETA garnering more than 280,000 emails from concerned shoppers Sephora has confirmed that they have banned mink fur eyelashes and will purchase only synthetic or full fur lashes going forward wow good 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 next story from California a California man is handing out free coffee to essential workers from his kitchen window. Hmm, he must have a, like, low kitchen that is close to the ground, like, street beside him. Let's take a look. All right, so wanting to inspire positive news, okay, blah, blah, blah. From his kitchen window, Ben Ramirez is handing out free coffee and a smile to people in his neighborhood. Okay, so it's a sidewalk, all right. Uh, even if they don't get a cup of coffee, they can stop at the window and chat, said the San Francisco resident told CNN. On average, Ramirez makes about 10 to 15 cups a day. His regulars are essential workers. Okay, not bad. He's not, you know, he doesn't have to, you know, make that much coffee, 10 to 15 cups. That's pretty good. All right, we have a lot of people in the neighborhood who are either nurses, doctors, or postal workers. They are out there on the front lines risking their lives every day. They deserve something, and they're always happy to see us in the morning. So in compliance with the six foot social distancing guideline, he hands a coffee with a toy gorilla arm, an idea given to him by his five year old son, Luca. Wow, very cool. Oh, that's the toy, oh, okay. Yes, that is the gorilla arm. I was wondering, is he wearing like a gorilla glove? That makes sense. Okay, this next story is about a cat. So Oscar the Burmese cat, a very lucky fellow, survives an unfortunate episode in washing machine. E. All right. So that is a cat. Oh, pretty cute. All right. Oscar the two-year-old, only two years old. Wow. Burmese cat was probably looking for a quiet place to have a nap, but ended up in the 12-minute hot cycle of his owner's front loader washing machine with detergent. Okay. Oscar's owner, Amanda, uh, from Queensland Sunshine Coast, Heard a strange meowing sound after her husband, Angelo, put the bed sheets in the washing machine. She thought the sound was coming from the cupboard and went to hang out another load of washing. When Miss Meredith came back inside, the meowing continued, and then she realized that the cat was 
in the washing machine. The poor little cat had his hands on the glass when he was doing the rotations and was looking at me. It was tragic. Oh my. I can't. Wow. That is sad. But, you know, when you imagine it, you know, it's sad, but you also, you know, it's kind of a funny sight at the same time. But anyways, good that he survived. It took a full agonizing two minutes for the machine to drain and turn off before the washing machine door could be opened and Oscar could be released. Oh. Meredith uh, phoned her vet, the beachside veterinary surgery, and who warned the first six hours could be touch and go. Oscar had emerged from hot water cycle and was battered and bruised from hard fins inside the washing machine, but thankfully he was alive and was even very soft. Mm. I guess the cleaning gave him some soft fur. But anyways, uh, he was uh, given medically medication uh, including anti-inflammatories and stayed at the vet for 24 hours before he, allows, he was allowed to go home. Wow, what a lucky cat. There goes one of his nine lives. Okay, this next story from New Zealand. Parents of newborn New Zealands get four weeks of paid parental leave starting today, which was, okay, this story was from Tuesday. Very cool. So the paid parental leave is extending, wait, gets four more weeks, not just four weeks, four more weeks. Okay, that changes things. They're, so they're extending it from 22 weeks to 26. So they're adding on to what they had before, taking New Zealand's uh, up to a total of six months of leave for a new parent. Wow, that is impressive. Hopefully, uh, you know, um, the Ontario government can uh, Take some notes. All right, this next story from uh, the UK in relation to Hong Kong. UK makes citizenship offer to residents of Hong Kong. So let's see. The PM said Hong Kong's freedom were being violated by a new security law and that affected, okay. So about 350,000 UK passport holders and 2.6 million others eligible will be able to come to UK for five years. Interesting. All right, so there's a lot of uh, civil unrest going on in Hong Kong. Hong Kong used to be uh, under the British rule, and then they have since been re recently returned to Chinese rule. Been an autonomous state even under the UK. So now with the civil unrest, UK is trying to help them out and uh, bring them over. Okay, this next story from Atlanta Hawks, the basketball team. All right, Atlanta Hawks approved to turn their arena, the State Farm Arena, into a huge voting station for the upcoming elections. All right, so the U.S. Uh, presidential elections are coming up soon. And I guess they chose to use Atlanta Hawks Arena to follow social distancing protocols. So that is pretty cool. All right, this next story from two seven-year-old twins uh, reopen successfully uh, lemonade stand after questions about permit like okay who's gonna complain about a permit about some kids having a lemonade stand now okay let's see when kids uh, twins Kamari and Kurt Kamari Mara okay sorry if I butchered their names open lemonade stand someone questioned if they had a permit to run it who does that? Come on now, they're just kids. And reopened their business with even uh, more success. Last week they had a line down the block and an hour wait for their signature drink. Let's take a look. Hmm, Savannah, Georgia. All right. Oh, they even have like a little, uh, canopy tent very cool it's like really official all right good on them very cool and shame on the person who questioned if they had a permit why does it matter they're just kids even if you call the cops the cops are gonna be like why are you wasting my time they're just kids anyways this is the next story from Amazon, all right, everyone knows Amazon, the online retailer. Amazon announced it's giving away more than 500 million in thank you bonuses to employees. All right, so let's take a look 
Amazon's giving away more than 500,000 in thank you bonuses to employees who worked in June. Full-time front, uh, frontline workers at Amazon and Whole Foods, Whole Foods is owned by Amazon, as well as drivers for the company's uh, delivery service partners will receive a $500 bonus. Part-time employees will receive a $250 bonus. All right, so that's just if you worked in June. So you have one month, one time bonus for one month. Interesting. Uh, Amazon ended its $2 pay bump, which debuted in March at the end of May. What? At the end of May, the pandemic is still going strong in the States. Uh, all right. This next story, also from the States, garbage men break down in tears when residents surprise them, surprise them with a thank you party attended by the mayor. Which city is this? Miami Beach. All right. Is there a video? Okay, so let's take a read. Okay, so Saul and Keon have never missed a day of work picking up trash in Miami Beach, and they're especially glad uh, they were covering this route this week as a beautiful surprise awaited them. When the huge truck rolled down the street into North Bay Road community, uh, they found scores of residents who've gone out early to line the streets with signs and balloons that simply say, we love you. So Jennifer wanted to sh show her family's appreciation, so she organized a socially distancing thank you uh, celebration to honor essential workers uh, who she called extraordinary. Of course, you know, sanitation workers are essential workers, you know. Everyone pays, you know, their support and gives their support to healthcare workers and, you know, emergency responders. But of course, sanitation also essential, right? So good on them, you know. All right, next story from Dolly Parton. Drag star Nina West launched charity uh, collection benefiting LGBTQ youth. All right, so let's take a read. Proceeds from the Paris Kindness is Queen Collection benefits uh, Parton's Imaginary Mation Library and Nina West Foundation. So they're selling shirts, bags, and some other goodies. All right, so to benefit LGBTQ youth and children's literacy. Very cool. All right. This next story from Hawaii. Hawaii group set uh, sets record for the largest haul of plastic removed from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. All right, let's take a look. So Ocean Voyagers is a two says that's made it history this week, returning from the port, uh, to the port of Honolulu Tuesday after successfully removing 103 tons of fishing nets and consumer plastics from the Great uh, Pacific Garbage Patch. It's more than double its own record setting from 25 days. They wait, did it spend 25 days at sea just collecting garbage? Wow. And this, during this 48-day expedition. So they spent 48 days just collecting garbage. Wow. Good on them. Interesting. All right. So for anyone who doesn't know what the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is, uh, here is a infographic from National Geographic. All right. So let's full screen this. So as you can see, this is the Pacific Ocean, right? We got Japan over here, and then of course the coastline of the states over here, right? And these are the ocean currents. Since you know humans produce so much trash, it's and so much plastic, all right. The plastic just floats, and then the currents make it so then all the plastic and garbage just accumulate in these two giant patches, and a little bit more spread out over here. As you can see. Lots of tiny plastic beads, lots of garbage, all right? So good on them for cleaning it up. You know, hopefully one day we can live in a world where we don't, uh, you know, have to use single-use plastics anymore. From Toronto, Toronto woman bakes more than 800 loaves of bread during COVID-19 to help people in need, wow. So when Erin lost her job, okay. She lost her job as a chef due to COVID-19 pandemic. She let herself wallow in self-pity for one night, and then she started breaking, baking bread. So she was a chef at a private company, but got laid off March 13th as the city shut down. And she decided to help others. Wow. Oh, that looks good. Very interesting. Good on 
Aaron. And hopefully, you know, with some uh, lucky bakery, a restaurant picks her up, you know, and gives her a job. All right. Uh, next story from City of Toronto, Active TO. They've been doing this for a while. Parts of major roads in Toronto will be closed this weekend. All right. Saturday, 6 a.m. until Sunday, 11 p.m. Okay, so same streets as last week. Lakeshore Boulevard West by Windermere to Stadium Road. Lakeshore Boulevard East from Leslie Street to Woodbine Avenue and Bayview uh, from Front Street all the way up to Rosedale Valley Road. All right, so you can use these closed down streets to stay active. You can see people riding bikes, some people walk, some people run, rollerblade, skateboard, whatever you like. This is the Lakeshore East by Leslie all the way down to Woodbine. So yeah, very cool. Take advantage of it. You know, it's hot, this weather is good. 21. Kobe Bryant honored on the cover of NBA 2K21 Mamba Forever Edition. I know I'm getting this holiday season. Rest in peace, Kobe. All right, so NBA 2K21 is set to release, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Should be September 4th, which is a Friday. And then with the new consoles coming out, PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox is going to re-release for those. So let's take a short video. Uh, let's take a short look at the video for NBA 2K. This is the Kobe Bryant Legend Edition. Sorry. I pause the audio because I don't want to get copyright strict. Yes, Mamba forever. So th this is Kobe Bryant in his uh, earlier days in number eight, and then in his second half of his career where he were number 24. So I'm gonna look forward to that. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. So if you are going through some mental health uh, difficulties, please consider Kill Telephone. The Kill Telephone is for youth under 18. You can text phone or go on their website at kidstelephone.ca. All right, and also this next resource is not age specific for adults, youth, whatever. Wellness Together Canada, all right? So you can just Google Wellness Together Canada. You can also believe you can text and call them, right? You just visit our website, Wellness Together Canada, all right? So that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all those good news. And we will see you guys next time. All right. So take care and be safe.